First Chronicles chapter 5 Reuben's Descendants Reuben was Israel's first son. Reuben should have received the special privileges of the oldest son, but he had sexual relations with his father's wife, so those privileges were given to Joseph's sons. In the family history, Reuben's name is not listed as the first son. Judah became stronger than his brothers, so the leaders came from his family. But Joseph's family got the other privileges that belonged to the oldest son. Reuben's sons were Hanak, Palu, Hezron, and Carmi. These are the names of Joel's descendants. Shemaiah was Joel's son. Gog was Shemaiah's son. Shemi, or Shemai, was Gog's son. Micah was Shemai's son. Raya was Micah's son. Baal was Rea's son. Beera was Baal's son. King Tiglath, Pileser of Assyria, forced Bera to leave his home. So Bera became the king's prisoner. Bera was a leader of the tribe of Reuben. Joel's brothers and all his tribes are listed just as they are written in the family histories. Jael was the first son, then Zechariah and Bila. Bila was Azaz's son. Azaz was Shema's son. Shema was Joel's son. They lived in the area of Aurora, all the way to Nebo and Baal Mion. Bila's people lived to the east, as far as the edge of the desert, near the Euphrates River. They lived there because they had many cattle in the land of Gilead. When Saul was king, Bila's people fought a war against the Hagrites. They defeated the Hagrites. Bela's people lived in the tents that had belonged to the Hagrites. They lived in those tents and traveled throughout the area east of Gilead. Gad's Descendants The people of Gad lived across the river from Reuben in the area of Bashan. They spread all the way to the town of Seleka. Joel was the first leader in Bashan. Shepham, or Shepham, was the second leader. Then, Janai became the leader. The seven brothers in their families were Michael, Meshulam, Sheba, Jerai, Jakan, Zia, and Eber. They were the descendants of Abihel. Abihel was Huri's son. Huri was Jorah's son. Jorah was Gilead's son. Gilead was Michael's son. Michael was... Jeshishai's son. Jeshishai was Jodah's son. Jado, Jado, yeah, Jado's son. Jado was Buzz's son, or Buzz, Buzz's, B-U-Z, B-U-Z, son. Ahai, Ahi, A-H-I, was Abadil's son. Abadil was Guni's son. Ahai was the leader of their family. The people in the tribe of Gad lived in the area of Gilead. They lived in the area of Bashan, in the small towns around Bashan, and in all the pastures in the area of Sharon, or Sharon, all the way to the borders. During the time of Jotham and Jeroboam, all these people's names were written in the family history of Gad. Jotham was the king of Judah, and Jeroboam was the king of Israel. Some soldiers skilled in war. From half the tribe of Manasseh and from the tribes of Reuben and Gad, there were 44,760 brave men ready for war. They were skilled in war. They carried shields and swords, and they were also good with bows and arrows. They started a war against the Hagrites and the people of Jeter, Napish, and Nodab. The men from the tribes of Manasseh, Reuben, and Gad prayed to God during the war. They asked God to help them because they trusted him, so God helped them. He allowed them to defeat the Hagrites and those who were with the Hagrites. They took the animals that belonged to the Hagrites. They took 50,000 camels, 250,000 sheep, 2,000 donkeys, and 100,000 people. Many Hagrites were killed because God helped the people of Reuben win the war. Then the tribes of Manasseh, Reuben, and Gad settled in the land of the Hagrites. 
They lived there until the time when the Israelites were taken into captivity. Half the tribe of Manasseh lived in the area of Bashan, all the way to Baal Hermon, Sinir, and Mount Hermon. They became a very large group of people. These were the family leaders from half the tribe of Manasseh. Ephur, Ishi, Eliel, <laughs> Azrael, Jeremiah, Hodaviah, and Jadil. My dogs are playing in the background. Sorry. They were all strong, brave, and famous men, and they were leaders in their families. But they sinned against the god their ancestors had worshipped. They began worshipping the false gods of the people God had destroyed, the people who had lived in the land before them. The God of Israel made King Pul of Assyria want to go to war. He was also called Tiglath, Pileser. He fought against the tribes of Manasseh, Reuben, and Gad. He forced them to leave their homes and made them prisoners. Pul took them to Hala, Hebor, Hara, and near the Gozan River. Those tribes from Israel have lived in these places since that time until today.